BBC News with David Harper. The Hamas-controlled health ministry in Gaza has published what it says are the names and ID numbers of more than 7,000 Palestinians killed in Israel's bombardment. The move comes after President Biden suggested there was doubt over the casualty figures. European Union leaders have become the latest to call for a humanitarian pause in the fighting in Gaza. They expressed their gravest concern for the deteriorating humanitarian situation there. The UN's humanitarian chief has accused the world of failing to meet the entitlements of a part of humanity. The UN General Assembly has held an emergency meeting to debate a text urging an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. A vote is expected in the coming days. In other news, the Biden administration has accused the Russian military of executing its own soldiers if they don't follow orders in Ukraine. Washington believes Russia has suffered thousands of recent casualties, some at the orders of their own leaders. China's top diplomat has said his country seeks to expand cooperation with the United States at the meeting at the opening of a meeting with the Secretary of State in Washington. Wang Yi said relations should be healthy and stable. Hundreds of armed police officers are continuing to search for a gunman in the US state of Maine after a series of mass shootings in the city of Lewiston left 18 people dead. The Coast Guard, FBI and other agencies are aiding in the manhunt. A US federal judge has ruled the electoral map in Georgia must be redrawn because the current boundaries discriminate against black voters. He ordered the state's Republican-dominated assembly to produce a new map by the 8th of December. A controversial statue of a US Confederate-era leader that became the focal point of racial justice protests in Virginia has been cut up and melted down at a secret location. The bronze figure of General Robert E. Lee was removed from its plinth in Charlottesville in 2021. BBC News.